Carol Baskin spoke exclusively with Eight on Your Side in her first interview since that series was released. Eight on Your Side's Chip Osowski is live tonight with some of the changes out at Big Cat Rescue. Well, good evening to you both. Baskin told me that the combination of the release of Tiger T King and the COVID-19 pandemic really did create the perfect storm. Now there is no more signage in front of Big Cat Rescue and tours have been suspended for months. Initially, there was a huge amount of um, an outpouring of just vitriolic, hateful death threats against me and my family. Carol Baskin tells Eight on Your Side that wasn't due to COVID, but was backlash from the release of Tiger King. Even riding her bike to work was dicey for months. What I found was people would actually like congregate on the trail to try and stop me to get a selfie with me. I had just gone through seeing all of that in Tiger King and all of the talk that they had. Plus, you know, I'd just been through the trial as well, having somebody wanting to kill me on that trail. And then there's the matter of her husband, Don, still considered missing. Tiger King certainly spawned speculation that she had something to do with his disappearance. The good news is that if anything does come of it, I am sure that I will be exonerated in it. And I really believe that he crashed out over the Gulf. Tiger King star Joe Exotic is currently serving a 22-year prison term after being found guilty of participating in a murder-for-hire plot against Baskin. And if the combination of COVID and Tiger King wasn't enough for Baskin in 2020, earlier this month, a tiger attacked a volunteer at the sanctuary. She was our highest level, which is a green level. And she had to work with the smaller cats for three years before she could even start working with the bigger cats. The volunteer Candy Couser is still recovering from her injuries. She's doing okay. She's really struggling because there's nothing worse than a tiger bite. Baskin says while the attack was caused by human error, she ultimately blames the government for not regulating the private ownership of big cats, necessitating the need for sanctuaries like Big Cat Rescue. Baskin is hopeful the future will bring back a bit of normalcy here. The absence of tours is meaning an absence of donations. And that's cut a third of our revenue. It, we have to raise three and a half million dollars a year. And so over a million dollars is not coming in because we're not doing tours, which is why I've been doing Dancing with the Stars and cameos and selling U2's dolls and bobbleheads and all kinds of crazy stuff. Baskin tells me what's not so crazy is a movie that's coming out in a couple days set to be released on December 26th called Hidden Tiger. She says that's a more accurate description of what happens out at Big Cat Rescue. You can watch my entire interview with Carol Baskin on WFLA.com. Reporting live, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.